What's going on YouTube? What's happening? Okay, so here we go. Spot market money on a Friday. <clears throat> a little late. Good afternoon, scribe. What's up, Mike MF Miller? What's happening? All right, so anyway, this is going to be a fast video. Lots of stuff going on today. Lots of things we got to do. So figured we'd come in here and shoot this video <clears throat> and uh, see what happens. Talk a little bit about the spot market. It's looking good. I'll show the map here. We'll put the map up there. What's up, Jeremy Rice? What's happening? All right, so here's the map. Uh, this is what's happening around with Van Freight. Uh, that does look good. What's up? No stock talk, please. Says Big He didn't get in on it, obviously. Um, so I didn't want to. He didn't want to talk about it. Um, but we won't talk about it. I made a lot of money this morning uh, in that market, but we're not going to talk about that. We'll talk about trucking. Um, so anyway, I'd show you the money, Eugene, but Big Rig CEO doesn't want us to show you the money. So we'll, we, we'll, we'll talk about trucking money. All right, so here it is in the spot market. Of course, the Midwest always is green right here in the heart of the Midwest. Uh, yellow in these areas, usually Mississippi and Arkansas are green. Michigan is 50% of the time, it's yellow. Still good loads out of there. Uh, Oregon, Washington, that was green last week, Monday or so. It's now turned yellow, showing a little softening. Not much, though. And California is still always green. Why? Because there's, you know, 19 million thousand ships sitting off the port that can't get unloaded still um, because you can't find any workers. That's the main thing. Stop sending out all that money on unemployment, and then you'll have workers. So there's no shortage. It's just that, you know, they're paying all this other money to not work. But that's a different a different story anyway. Um, what else is going on? So let's take a look at some money before we uh, end the feed, right? So if we're starting Boston, Massachusetts, we switch just to any. We'll see what the 123 load board has to offer up in that area. 410 loads. Um, if you want this load board at a great price there it is at the ticker tape scrolling across the top uh, there's your code what's up anthony what's happening how's the family doing so we'll not take deadhead we'll take deadhead out of there uh, we'll do rate per mile everybody likes to see the rate per mile 1700 bucks connecticut to monticello new york 1164 a mile for 146 miles now, come on, people. You know, you know that's good money. Come on. How can you go wrong? How can you go wrong with that money? That 2000 right there in New Hampshire. 3000 Connecticut to New York there. 2300 2000 7 something a mile. You're not getting that on contract freight. You'll never get that on contract freight. And... Even when bad times are, the spot market will still be contract freight in the East Coast. All day long, every day. Um, there you go. Springfield, Missouri to Carlisle. Uh, well, let's see what we got here. Let's see if we... Uh, Springfield, Missouri, Carlisle, calculate, tolls are approximately $127.10, depending, that's a, that's a rough calculation going this way, it's going to be pretty accurate, you know, so, uh, Depending on weight, of course, in Pennsylvania. But about $130. $120, That's a good thing about this load board. Go to mileage calculator. Put it in. You'll see the tolls. Uh, and there's a summary of how it goes. So there's, there's an about what it would cost. So let's rock and roll. Get out of Boston. We've seen the big money up there. Um, 
And that's another thing. You could go into one, two, three load board. You could put that in there, see what the tolls are going to be, and add it into the rate. Just tell the just tell the broker, no, I need this, you know, and add that in there, and see what happens. All right, so let's go. Let's go to uh, Carlisle, PA. Let's see what's shaking around Carlisle. Since uh, Big Rig CEO is going there. All these little short runs. PA to PA. Newville, PA to Cole Township, PA. If you have interstate authority, you could do that load for 98 miles. Uh, if not, you know, people do take the chance. I wouldn't advise the chance, but people do. 2800 bucks, PA to West Virginia, 289 miles. Let's see if we can find another good one down here. Slide down, 2000 bucks, back to New York, 1600 up to Vermont. So a lot of good short paying loads. That's where the money's at. If you want to see what it is to go all the way across the country, I mean, you can just go up here, hit the button, hit highest posted rate, and then that's going to... Show you seven grand back to Oregon, 242 a mile out of Jersey, 203 to Washington, $1.43 to California. Cheap money, cheap money, cheap money. Wouldn't go there for that. And so forth. $2,800, 237 mile down to Florida. And then we scroll on down. All right, so let's get out of that area, hit a new search, and let's pick uh, Memphis. Why not? 969 loads around Memphis. Highest posted rate right there. We're going to go to rate per mile and see what's shaking. We have 3300 bucks to Ohio. Through 676 a mile for 488 miles. 3100 to Georgia. Now listen, folks, this, these prices are going to be here for quite a while. And the reason why, and you know, you get these naysayers, and here's what it is. You cannot go anywhere in this country and buy a product, a manufactured product, that is very limited or out of stock. And we're not talking, we're talking machinery type of products with microprocessor type of products. So like if you want to go buy a commercial zero turn lawnmower, let's say, for example, certain ones, you could take this three to six month wait to get it. Three to six months for a stupid lawnmower. Now, stopped by a, a dealership the other day and talked to them. Uh, I just talked to a guy that sells golf carts. They sold their last three. That's all they had in their showroom was three. He says, can't get them until at least June or July or later. And they're not talking about being able to get in 20 or 30 to fill up their showroom. They're talking about one or two. One or two. So everything is down on manufacturing and trying to get. Uh, it'll be pretty hard to get a lot of things with what's going on. So that is just going to keep raising the rates uh, trailers are the same thing. They're, they're so far out. Trucks are now becoming the same way. You know, if you want to go buy a truck, it's, it's becoming harder and harder to find. Uh, so it's just going to keep going. And then all of a sudden, when everything does come abroad, you know, come around, it's going to be a flood of freight, a flood of freight. see what's going on here what's up Ian what's going on Brian ordered my new Ram 2500 Saturday told four months to get it that's what I'm saying Brian right so the rates are here to stay because you got to think about it when all these manufacturing plants finally get the stuff they need to make the stuff and get people back to work stop giving all these supplements out Make them go back to work because you can go down any main street street in America and there's job. Every, every business has help wanted signs on it. Almost every business. 
I mean, for crying out loud, you got Menards over here offering fifteen seventy-five to seventeen seventy-five an hour to stand in an aisle and talk to people. Basically, sixteen bucks an hour to stand there and help people find stuff in the aisle. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, so, you know, Montana's finally kicking people off unemployment. Yay. Well, there's a lot of, lot of places like that, right? Uh, like here, here in Michigan, they do the same thing. Uh, they'll cut people off or say there's something wrong, but then you can't, you know, they can't get their information into them and things like that, and they won't respond back. So it makes them go out and find something because the check stops. Um, you know, they opened up those, they opened up this whole situation. They did it. They got to live with it. Uh, I was on one of the social media sites at one of the campgrounds. These people were complaining about how, uh, you know, the, the hot tub there. They started construction on it last year, still isn't finished. And they're complaining. Well, probably because maybe that business, you know, the great governor of Michigan shut everything down. They couldn't work. Therefore, you're not getting your hot tub installed, you know, because it's all concrete. You're not getting that done. And then now that it's come back, that those people might not even be in business anymore. Who knows? It's just a trickle effect, right? It comes on down. So, you know, when it gets done, it gets done. Um, let's see what else is shaking around here. Going there, 4,000 bucks, 989 miles. Tennessee to Rochester, New York. Tennessee to South Dakota, 3,500, 385 a mile. 2,500 bucks, Mississippi to Wisconsin. One minute ago, freight everywhere. New search, let's try, look at this, watch this. Let's see what Miami, let's see what sunny Florida's got down there, way at the bottom. 700 bucks for 100 miles, 680 a mile. $3,600 Florida to North Carolina, 471 a mile. Now, Pointe Gorda, we all know what this is. Anybody that's been in trucking long enough knows what this is. I'm not even going to tell you. Who can guess what this is? You've been in trucking long enough. You know what time of year it is. Florida. That's where you need to go. You need to take the $4,000, $5,000 loads of Florida because you're going to come out of Florida for anywhere from two to $4,000. Even more than that, if you haul this certain type of load. But you better not haul this load past July 4th because you might not get it. You might not get that stuff off your truck. You might have to take it to another place to get it off the truck because the grocery stores are going to say, oh, we don't want it or it's a bad product, which is not a bad product. It's just that they don't need it anymore because they ordered too much. So who can guess what this product is? I hauled it all the time. This is the time I went to Florida. Exactly right over Texas, Minnesota. Watermelons. Watermelons, watermelons, watermelons. Put them in the van trailer. Come out of there by weight. You can come out of there right now in this market for 4 to $7 a mile on watermelons. You can do it. Out of Florida. Matter of fact, you probably get a free, some free watermelons to boot. Because the farmers is giving to you. Um, so there you go. Go down there for three or four dollars a mile. Come back out for three or four dollars a mile. That's where the money's at. That's where it's at. Brother-in-law is making uh, pretty good money right now. That's right, lo local trucker George. Um, you got to know where the niche market is and. Get out of your market and go to that niche market and make the big money and go back home. Uh, that might make too much sense. So, um, you know, Florida, Florida, thousand bucks, two hundred twenty-eight miles, thirty-one hundred bucks up to Virginia. This is all watermelon stuff. You know, thirty-four hundred, disputante, whatever you want to call it, Virginia, Arcadia, Florida. Um, right. Dow Brothers. What's up, Michael Dow? There you go. Uh, so look at all, you know, look at this money coming out of Florida. It's just great money. If you go down to Florida and don't have watermelons out and you take that cheap stuff, that's on you. Because, you know, you got these people and I know them. 
And, you know, these guys don't use trucking software. They really don't know if they're mile pre prime. They don't know anything. They don't know how much they're really making as long as they get a paycheck. But they call their cell phone operators. But they're the other type. They'll say, I'm not putting that stuff in my trailer. It's too heavy. I'm not hauling 45,000 pounds. I'm not hauling 44,000 pounds. Really? You're driving around a truck with probably 450 horsepower, 565, 500, and you don't think that thing is built to pull 45,000 pounds? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How am I haul my 10,000 pounds or 12,000 pounds? Get half the money. Yeah, that's, that's really intelligent business decision. Um, you know. See, to me, it doesn't matter about the weight. As long as it's legal, I'm going to haul it. I don't care if it's 47,000 pounds, 46,000, 45, 42. If it goes in the trailer and it can scale out, I'm going to haul it. Um, because the price is accordingly. 4,400. Now, if you're in the same place and there's a $5,000 load, let's say, and it weighs 45,000 45, pounds, and there's a $5,000 load that weighs 20,000, of course you're going to take the 20,000. But it's not going to happen down in Florida because the other loads ain't going to pay what watermelons are paying. Um, See, so I'm going down hundreds of loads here before we even get out of the watermelon loads. Um, so you come down here and look, for 204 a mile, you can come out of Fort Myers, Florida to Louisiana for 204 a mile, 30,000 pounds, that's not watermelons. But there's your difference. Half. Half. So if you want to run for 30,000 pounds instead of 45,000 and make half the money, so be it. <clears throat> and there are guys that do that. There are guys and gals that do that because they think, you know, all in heavy uh, ruins their equipment. That's what they think. <clears throat> if that's the case, there'd be no heavy haul guys, right? I mean, you know, if that's the case. All right, so let's get out of there. Where else? Carlsbad, California. Let, let's go there. Home of Thunder funding. Scott and Willie and the gang, hello today. Hope you guys are enjoying your 75, 80 degree weather in sunny California. And it's miserable, 40 something degrees, raining. It was snowing this morning in some parts of Michigan. Can you believe that? May, snowing. Oh well, it is what it is. 903 loads. And if we look at rate per mile, of course, we're going to get these little short ones in the L.A. Basin. $5,500 to Butte, Montana. $5,500, $520 a mile for that 1,000 miles. $1,700 to shoot over to Tulsa, Arizona out of San Diego. $499 a mile. $4,800 to Colorado. 1000 to Henderson, Nevada, and so forth. Ontario, California. Henderson, Nevada. $1,000 bucks. Six grand back to the Mechanicsburg, PA. 7,500 to Jersey, and so forth. Yeah, we are on fire today. That's right. I'm wound up today, Trucker George. I'm wound up today. Um, took the grandson out to lunch because he got quarantined. He's quarantined 14 days. These schools are, are ridiculous around here. You know, if you sit within six feet of somebody and they test positive for COVID, everybody in that six foot radius gets sent home for 14 days. So the kids in this country are suffering the worst on this COVID because they send them home for 14 days, nothing's wrong with them. They go back to school, another kid, they, you know, sits within six feet, gives them, they're back home for another 14 days. Some kids, you know, might miss a month or two months of school, be in quarantine and nothing's wrong with them. Unbelievable. How's it going, Clyde? What's up, buddy? Pamela B., what's happening? Um, Pamela's making all kinds of money, uh, but we're not going to talk about it. Not going to talk about it, right, Pamela B.? Not going to talk about it. All right, so there's our quote up there. Remember... Just landed in Johnson City. There you go. Home of the water heaters. All right, so Tuesday night, 9.15. That's usually where we'll do the nuts and bolts show. 
Uh, I don't know if it's going to run this Tuesday. I'll let you guys know. It probably will, though. We'll probably still have it. Um, I was going to be camping, but I don't think so. So we'll probably have the show. Uh, and if we do have the show, we'll be doing a giveaway. We'll do some swag giveaway. And we'll give away some stuff. Uh, Tuesday night. And I showed that on the last one. Gave a little sneak preview of what is uh, going to be. What's up? Hammer down. Thumbs up. Little Viking coach. What's happening? Uh, little Viking coach. You'd like this. Went to five guys. Went to five guys. Uh, but you can't You can't have the bun. Right, little Viking coach? you got to order the stuff without the bun. Because that's what ruins you is that, is that wheat. It's the bun. But, you know. Uh, good stuff there, though. Fresh hamburgers. It's good stuff. So we went all over this board. Where else did we not go? Let me take a look at some stuff. All right. Pam fixed, uh, Pam fixed stove ticking today. Now she thinks she's Tim the Tool Man Taylor. Well, yeah, Tim the Tool Man. You know, next thing you know, Dave, is uh, you go out to get on your lawnmower to mow the lawn, and it's going to have a V8 motor in it because Pam was out there tinkering with it. She took your little Briggs and Stratton out of there and put a Hemi in it. Trying to tell you something. Mow faster. All right, so here we go. One more shot. We're going to go Dallas, Texas. They've had a trucking drill this afternoon. Uh, look at all the big money in Dallas. Texas to Oklahoma, one sixty-eight thousand bucks, eleven hundred bucks for one hundred ninety miles, twelve hundred bucks four forty-eight. Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Joplin, Missouri, thirteen fifty-three, sixty-one a mile. We'll call you uh, Pagiver. You know, take out the MC, take Pam, PA, Pagiver. Just killed a ribbon snake here near Saginaw this morning. What's up, Eagles? What's going on? Saginaw. I was up there uh, just the other day. Where'd you get it at? What part? All right, let's check this out. Thousand bucks, 340 mile back to Oklahoma there. Another 1,050 Texas, Texas interstate load. Um, if you paid the money to run Texas interstate, make sure you do it because that's a lot of money. Uh, let's see, Colorado, Texas to Colorado, 2300, 304 a mile. 1500 bucks, 2000, 3800 back to Maryland. You can see Texas has money coming out of it, just like any other state, hand over fist. Um, if you cannot make money in this market, anybody can. You just close your eyes and throw the dart at the load board, you're going to make money. Um, so, but the business owner operator, the operators as a business will make a lot of money during this season. The driver slash owner operator will make decent money. And I'll let you guys figure that out. <clears throat> two minutes ago, king of freight, thousand bucks, two forty two. I wouldn't take that. There's so much other freight better than that. Why take it? So there you go. That's the end. That'll be the end for today. We got things to do. We got to get rolling. Uh, it's been 24 minutes, so that'll be good enough. So Tuesday night, we'll probably have the show 9:15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're gonna give away some uh, Thunder Funding swag, uh, and then you know I'll mail that stuff out on Wednesday or Thursday, and uh, we'll do that. Probably every nuts and bolts show on Tuesday night. 9.15. If you want some t-shirts, hats, things like that, tune in. Yeah, short and sweet today. That's right, Pam. It's busy. It's Friday. Got things to do. You know? Hey. We'll see y'all later. Be safe. Hope everybody made it through the little blitz thing. 
Seven foot, 240 pound sturgeon caught in Michigan. Yes, it was. That was a big fish. Was it not LVC? Big fish. They did release it though. It was a catch and release. They did release it back. Uh, so who knows how big that thing's going to get. Um, but you know, it could also not get any bigger because catch and release could have traumatized it. You don't know. Um, hopefully it still lives. What else we got doing going on here? Got all this paperwork to do. Had to file Texas, uh, you know, for the foreign corporation and stuff because, you know, when you do interstate, you're a foreign corporation in every single stupid state you want to do interstate in. So then you got to file your corporate stuff with them. Um, you can either do it yourself or you can pay somebody to do it. You know, it's all relevant. These people want to charge you. If you want them to do it, they want to charge you 100, 120 bucks. And all this is filling out a stupid little form. So uh, if you don't want to take the time, 100, 120 bucks. If you want to take out a few, two or three minutes, five minutes of your time, you know, do it yourself. But then there's other states where they say that their internet is really easy, their, their website's easy, but you sit there for hours and you still can't figure it out um, because their website isn't easy. Then it's worth maybe paying somebody that 100 bucks for that one state if their websites suck. Still think of getting Texas Interstate. Well, it's good if you get it and you use it, uh, Pam. It's going to cost you 700 It's going to cost you about 1000 bucks to get that Interstate. Because it's going to cost you a couple hundred dollars for a foreign corporation filing fee. And then once you do that, and you're in with their Secretary of State, or whatever they want to call it in Texas, when, you, when you're in there, actually on the books with a number, then... You can file for the interest state, and that's seven hundred fifty bucks. So it's going to cost you about a thousand bucks for your one truck. Yeah, it's thousand bucks. Wisconsin, one truck. You're looking at you know five hundred plus to a couple hundred bucks for that. Another set, like seven hundred bucks. Pennsylvania, it's three fifty or so. Uh, Ohio is cheap. Michigan's a hundred bucks. Um, Illinois is not cheap if you're a foreign corporation. They're expensive too. Uh, Alabama's not too bad. Missouri's cheap. They're not bad either. It's like 180 and then your fee for that. So it's, it's a few hundred bucks for Missouri. But if you open up this can of worms and do all these different interstates, it's a pain that you know what. Every year, sending all your information in, you know. And if you make so much money in there, then they want to tax you. That's another thing. But anyway, see y'all later. Tune in next time. We'll see you. Be safe. Adios.